you guys. So I thought I would film a little intro and outro, um, as well as a further haul that I made today, Monday, uh, third day of summer SAS. So yes, so my name is Lizzie. Thank you so much for joining me. I attempted to do a vlog for this video. Um, just, you know, kind of make it different, mix it up a little bit. Um, cause I thought possibly I would vlog in my stores for the first day of SAS, but I didn't. I was just too like on the hunt, kind of avoiding people and not wanting to seem awkward and weird with my camera out. So I didn't vlog in stores, unfortunately, but I have my hauls and I will do a little timestamp on here, letting you know if you just want to skip right to the haul and skip all my like little life uh, events that I vlogged about before the SAS day one. So the timestamp, if you want to just go straight to the hauls. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me, SAS. You know, well, I'll save, I'll save my little overview of the first few days of SAS um, for my outro. So thanks for joining. And yes, if you want to watch my vlog, thank you. If you want to subscribe, thank you. And if you just want to skip straight to the hauls, go right ahead to the timestamp below. Thanks. And if you have not checked out the Facebook We Heart Bath and Body Works, it's a blue heart. Um, please go ahead and do so and join them if you haven't yet. They have like thousands of members and I love just seeing everybody's hauls and what they're finding um, at their stores and locations. And that's just a good way to, you know, be in the know of what to look out for when you go shopping. And that's how I, you know, know what to look for and what not, might not be on the tables along the walls and yet I know that they should be 75% off. So yeah, check out that Facebook page. Today is May 30th and it is my, what, eighth anniversary today with Dan. We are Ooh. out for dinner. It's our first night away from the kids. My mother is watching both of them and I'm a little nervous that she has got both of them <laughs> to take care of with <laughs> being away from Bodhi for the first time, but you know, we are just up in town, so not too far away, and we're out to dinner. It's early, it's like early bird dinner, so <laughs> um, we're trying a new restaurant called Ombra, and it's like a tapas charcuterie, and here's Dan, Hi. and we're having our drinks, and this is my first drink in maybe like a year since being pregnant, so it's a beautiful, delicious sangria. And Dan has something called the Bone Shaker. And yeah, I'll show you our dinner once it arrives. And then we'll go into SAS this weekend. So yes, yeah, trying this vlog thing, we'll see. <laughs> Here is the menu. We did the charcuterie platter, cause now I can eat liver mousse again. And the millionaire tater tots the arancini and the griddled pork chops to start. I think that should be good, but we'll see if we need more. So, ombra. Here's our charcuterie. Who does not love a good charcuterie? Got chorizo, manchego, there's the mousse. The red dragon. Look good, Dan. It looks good. I think that's the red dragon. Mm. Do you see? Yes, the mustard. <laughs> Is our millionaire caviar. Or, I'm sorry, millionaire tots with caviar. <laughs> and the arancini. And the griddled pork chops with that luscious apple chutney. Mm. And you always have to leave room for dessert. Chocolate peanut butter custard. Cheers. How is it? How is it? Yeah. Tastes like chocolate and peanut butter. Very tasty. <laughs> There you are. Okay, so we're walking home. It was a very filling dinner. We ate almost everything with a couple tater tots to bring home and some pork chop. And of course, we had to have room for dessert. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, now we're trying to walk the rest of it off, even though it's only like less than a, what, 10 minute walk? Oh, it's a five, five minute walk. Five minute walk. <laughs> yes, and um, yeah, it was a very nice little night out even though it's only like what 6 30. <laughs> so, I don't know it seems like nine to me I could go to bed. Yeah I could go to sleep too um but yeah we have to go get 
Irish a bath and get him ready for bed. So we will see you guys soon and hopefully this vlog will turn out okay. It's delicious. <laughs> Some new candles I acquired from Mercari. I have never had the Radiant Red Maple because it's always just been so expensive. There's Irish um, on Mercari, but this seller had it at a very decent price along with this one, Citron Cedarwood. So I did a bundle deal for the two and Radiant Red Maple is the aroma of crisp red Macintosh apple, smoky woods, and a hint of toasted marshmallow bring a feeling of fall into the air from, I think, 2015. And then this one, yes, it has the fancy lid, lid. fork and vine, and this pretty orange wax. Let's hit that with Oopsie. Mommy, where's the something? And this one is the blend of aromatic cedar wood and sunny citron with a hint of mint. Oh, it's as carefree and sun-kissed as the hills of California wine country. Okay. Also, no, 2016, I think, for this one. And this one smells nice. Um, smells like, smells a little cologne but you get a hint of that, like, cedar wood and... A little bit of the um almost like a citrus fermented note there so those are finally in my collection happy semi-annual sale 2023 i am at my first store i'm only going to the two stores today um first store here at one of the malls opens at 10 so just waiting for it to open I'm about 10 minutes early so I'm going to head in soon and hopefully have some good luck I chose this mall first before the second store because during winter SAS I felt like their three wick candles that were 75% off uh, were better it's a smaller store so we will see if it works out again this time around I'm not sure I have a huge cart ready to go online um, with some buy online pick up in store uh, items and I plan to use a uh, online promotional 20% off code for those like 1095 candles and stuff on there so I'm not lugging a bunch of candles that were just the 1095 um, so hopefully this will all work out Head and Northwest. we will that was my GPS even though I'm parked um, so I will see you guys soon hopefully um, I don't know if I'll vlog in there it depends how busy it is and how much I just want to grab stuff and go and head over to my next store so we'll see okay we'll come back soon okay guys so the first store not so great unfortunately absolutely no 75% off three wick candles or single wicks one lonely table of 75% off items, nothing exciting. So I didn't vlog um, <laughs> inside the store, but I did manage to grab a few things that were at least like gems and finds that I consider. Um, and a couple things I found along the wall that were not marked 75% off, but thanks to Instagram and people in this community, I knew to double check the price point and it was 75% off. It rang up. So I grabbed those and I'll show you those soon. Um, but yeah, this first store was a dud. Uh, so let's hope the second store is okay. And I didn't miss out since I wasn't there at opening. Let's see. Okay. Store number two is done. It was slightly better than the first store, but not really that much. Um, probably would have had better luck at my local store, but we'll see how that goes on Monday. I had to stop and get my little Auntie Anne's pretzel and honey mustard dipping sauce. And I ended up getting a frozen lemonade because I am thirsty. I just power walked straight to the store and yeah, was a little disappointed. Um, it wasn't like crazy busy either. So I don't know, maybe people aren't out and about shopping. Oof. And I heard one of the associates say that it wasn't that busy. Um, so I will share my haul with you shortly. Let me just, I just love soft pretzels. Like this might go to like snack, comfort food. Mm. It's so buttery and chewy and just get that salt and grease. <laughs> so and I haven't eaten anything all day because I was just like, I have to go shopping. 
I didn't find any gems. I was looking for the toasted pistachio and vanilla candle, but no, none of those. And I plan to place my online order for like the 1095 candles and all of that. So I really didn't have too much carrying weight wise, but I still got quite a few stuff, but it's like, you know, mostly for Mercari and, and myself and gifts. So Susie said that she found gingham among the clouds and butterfly perfumes at her store that were 75% off. So I knew to be on the lookout for those. And I also knew just from social media to check for Dream Bright and I think Coco Paradise. So I knew to be on the lookout for those. At my first store, like I said, there was only one tiny 75% off table, mostly body care. And I was like, oh, that's disappointing. Um, but they did have the gingham perfume this was the only perfume at that store on the 75 percent off table and i already picked up this perfume through like the buy three get three like a month or two ago um so i really didn't need it but with that price you can't beat that so i got all three because i was like what if i don't find any perfumes anywhere else so let me just get the three here i picked up a warm vanilla sugar moisturizing body wash. This was 75% off. I don't think I have that one. And these were also on the table. The only two left, Coco Paradise Travel Spray Perfume. So I got the two there. And then I used rewards because I'm going to try and double dip my rewards. And so I placed, um, so I used four rewards in store for the shower gels. So I got Rainbow Waves, which is Sunny Sangria, Bright Melon, Misty Waters, which is what they had for the pride collection last year but now they just released it for sas in this packaging the whipped coconut milkshake and this is vanilla ice cream toasted coconut sugared amber i think it's just like coconut cream pie i can't i can't smell anything um i use hand sandy so i can't smell anything but that disco daydream cali days wild vanilla radiant coconut oh that has coconut in it too and this one I'm most excited about, Fruity Sherbert Scoop, which is Rainbow Sherbet Zesty Orange Sunkissed Strawberry. Um, and I hope to use my rewards for the Fine Fragrance Mist online. And then I saw along the wall, I was looking for Among the Clouds along the wall, um, but I saw Dream Bright along the wall and they had two Dream Bright perfumes. So I was like, let me just take it up and ask them and have them, oh, ew, this was, has a bunch of gunk on it. I didn't even see that. And ask them to ring it up and just see and yeah sure enough it rang up 75 percent off so i was like well i want to go back and get the second one so i got the second one so yeah with 59.50 retail and then 75 percent off can't beat that so for that trip it was let me just see here for the gingham perfumes they were 49.90 75 percent off brought them down to 12.47 the dream bright 59.50 brought them down to 14.87. The warm vanilla sugar body uh, wash was 3.37, and then the coconut cocoa coconut travel sprays were 3.49. Um, so that brought the total to 77.50 plus tax 82.34, and I saved 246 dollars and 10 cents for the first trip. And then my second store, I. They had maybe two 75% off tables with a couple like 50% offs. And it's just like kind of hunting around in that store because it's a little bit larger and it's just a little bit more crowded. So I immediately went to the three wood candles where they usually kept them and was super disappointed. Um, like I said, they had Merry Maple Bourbon, like a ton of those, and Bubbly Rosé and Peach Bellini for 75% off, and no single wicks whatsoever. Um, so I just ended up grabbing, just because I was like, what's well, 75% off? So I got the Peach Bellini three wick in this jar, which I never picked up before, and it's succulent white peach, sparkling Prosecco, sweet orange. And then... I was happy to find the Coco Paradise perfume, 75% off on their display. Um, salted Coconut Manoi Sugar Neroli Bronze Sandalwood. Let's make sure that, yeah, the perfumes are actually in there because they feel light sometimes. So I picked up two of those in the full size and they actually had a couple still along the wall, but these were the two on the table. And then they had a lot of Dream Brights at this store. There was probably like four or five. So I got two of them. I already had the other two. So I got two more Dream Brights. 
if anybody wants a dream break hit me up <laughs> and men's cologne on 75% off birch and eucalyptus I got this winter SAS in it so fine so I picked up one more of those and I actually like the scent so if Dan wore it I wouldn't be mad keeping it um but he doesn't usually wear cologne and then I just picked up some cleansing bars because they were 75% off so I got dream bright soap a aloe and palm leaf and a pink pineapple sunrise and then I was going to get um these two pink shower uh puffs for for the shower um shower loofahs um they were on the 50 percent off table so i was like oh they're about 250 i don't mind spending that i'll get two of them but they were ringing up full price so i was just like forget it i don't really need them so just no okay. here's my receipt so for this the oh no this is why you should watch thing check out um so that peach bellini candle which was on the 75 percent off table rang up 10.95 and i'm not paying 10.95 for that so i am going to return that when i go to, to my store monday that sucks um yeah it was on 75 percent off but it rang up 10.95 um uh the coco coconut can uh no coco coconut perfumes 11.24 they're originally 44.95 and then the Dream Bright was the same, fourteen eighty seven. The Birch and Eucalyptus Cologne, nine eighty seven, originally thirty nine fifty. And then the Bar Soaps, um, two of them rang up two twenty four, and then the Dream Bright rang up two twelve. So the total here was seventy nine sixty four. Tax brought it to eighty four sixty two. Savings of two hundred twenty one dollars and sixty six cents. But yes, I have to return that Peach Bellini. That is a bummer. Okay, so. Those were my hauls. Not bad. I'm going to place an online order before I hit the road and get going. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Let's get started with the haul I did today. Today is Monday. We just um, drove back from my in-laws. So I did my little haul in the car from my uh, two stores at the malls by my in-laws, um, which I was not very impressed by. I thought they were kind of like lackluster and just not... I was I was disappointed because I did not find three wick candles that I was hoping to find. Um, I was planning to really just like buy a lot of candles, did not find any. And, you know, the body care and perfumes and stuff. The perfumes were great. I was very excited to find the perfumes, but it's perfumes I already have. So I only like really bought some to either gift or sell on Mercari. Um, I don't know if I'll keep maybe a second for backups for my collection. I'm not sure. But yeah, those, at least I found the perfumes, but I really wanted to find candles and that made it kind of disappointing in my opinion. Um, the one three-wick candle I did buy that was supposed to be 75% off, Peach Bellini, I realized in the car, on the car receipt there, that it rang up ten ninety five. So I was not going to buy that for ten ninety five. So I ended up exchanging it. We ended up stopping at the small store on our way home. Um, they didn't really have much different stock in their store. They were kind of replenishing what they sold over the weekend, but I didn't find anything too exciting. Um, so what I just uh, did at their store was I exchanged the peach Bellini and I ended up just exchanging it for rose water and mahogany teak wood. Sorry, rose water and ivy and mahogany teak wood. I am not a fan of this candle, but I realized um, on my online order that this was not in the order, so I must have overlooked it or accidentally deleted it from the cart. And I just want one of every label from this collection for my collection. So I decided to exchange it for this and it is Rich Mahogany Black Teakwood Soft Rose Petals Rain Kissed English Ivy. It came out last... Was it last summer at SAS that they had the, the, the blends for, for this one? I don't remember. It's not bad, but I just wanted it for the packaging and to complete the collection. And then they had a few single wicks and they had one three wick at this mall, but it was... um. Fresh balsam. I was like, I don't need that. So I did get one single wick under the magnolia tree. And I got a Dream Bright um, bubble bath for the 75% off. So that was all that I got at the mall. And then um, I decided to go to my local store here now that we're home. You know, figuring they would have better stock. They're not that high traffic store. And see if I could pick through what's left for, from the weekend. And I also had a buy online pickup in store order. So I placed a huge online order after I 
did my shopping on day one. Um, I had a 20% off promo code that um, from customer service that expires in a year. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to use it on this order. And I'll do like what I can pick up in store at my local store here. And the rest will be shipped because I didn't want to lug a bunch of candles around with me. So I ordered the rest of that blends collection. Um, and I did some wallflowers and soaps, even though those were only like three fifty and fifty percent off. But I was like, with the additional twenty, I don't mind. I don't really want to wait till they're possibly seventy five percent off and then miss out. So I'm just like, I'll just place like a large order now, use my twenty percent off, and then eventually, if stuff does get marked down, I'll see if there's any additional cents that I want. Um, so I did my buy online pickup in store and then I was looking through, you know, the bins and everything once I got there and they did have, um, the among the clouds shapeable soap. So I figured why not just get this novelty like item, try it out. Um, Irish has been really good at washing his hands and stuff. So maybe this will also be fun for him to use. Um, they did not have among the clouds perfume, but there was a ton of Gingham and Dream Bright perfumes on the 75% off table. Like, I don't know if they just put them out today or if they just like lasted all weekend, but there was like five or six of each. So I was like, oh, I could have just shopped here today, but that's okay. Um, I did pick up a Secret Wonderland shower gel. I don't have this scent. It's Luscious Strawberry Frosted Jasmine Petals White Amber. Um, so there was a bunch of these, just shower gels. And this soap I meant to get on my buy online pickup in store order and then I somehow, like I said, deleted it or something. Um, it's the white tea and sage and pineapple mango. Um, I love the blue color, uh, deep cleansing hand soap. So I don't know why they come out with the deep cleansing hand soaps for like the SAS releases, but not regular soap form. Um, so I really like the deep cleansing, which is a lot better than the gentle gel or the foaming in my opinion, but they only seem to bring them out during um, SAS. Um, so I picked up two of these cause I have others from the online order. And then, um, yeah, because I already have the dream bright and the gingham perfumes. I was like, Oh, I don't need those perfumes. I was looking for among the clouds, which I did not find. I was looking for champagne toast, which I heard was ringing up 50% off. So I was fine with paying 50% off, but I didn't find that either. And then I saw butterfly along the wall, not on the table. And I'm like, I know those are 75% off. So I brought them up to the counter. Sure enough, 75% off. So I got two of the three. There was three on the shelf. I picked up two and I also tried to get the creamy body scrub and body butter um, in Butterfly, because I thought maybe all of Butterfly was 75% off, but it wasn't. It was only, I guess, the perfumes. So I left those and only got the perfumes. So yeah, so this in-store purchase today, the Butterfly perfumes were $44.50 with 75% off, brought them down to $11.12. The Secret Wonderland body uh, wash was $3.37, originally $13.50. And the soaps were uh, $3.97. Um, each and the among the clouds soap was 449. So in total, I spent 3804 with tax, brought it to 4042, and I saved 98 dollars and 31 cents. Now let me go ahead and show you uh, what my buy online pickup in the store order was. So I used um, some rewards. I think the double dipping of the rewards worked. Um, I mentioned that in my last video how you can go ahead and try and do that and get two for one reward. Um, so I did get some of the, um, let's see here, some of the fine fragrance mist um, as like the second reward. Um, so I picked up the golden sunflower, sunflower petals, orange flower, fresh vanilla, the fruity sherbet scoop. I say sherbet even though it's spelled sherbet but I always say sherbet. Um, Rainbow sherbet, zesty orange sunkissed strawberry. I think the packaging on those are really cute. And then whipped coconut milkshake in the fine fragrance mist, vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut sugared amber. Um, and the fourth reward that I used is for rainbow waves, but it was only online. It was not showing up as Bopis. So I um, have that coming online. And then I got the um, returning favorites uh, that were $3.95. So I did pick up Juniper Breeze, 
Juniper leaves, green apple, blue jasmine, fresh woods, dewy musk. I got that and fine fragrance mist and the shower gel. Also plumeria, of course. Pink plumeria, peach nectar, red apple, night blooming jasmine, gardenia petals. And that. And shower gel. I decided to get these $3.95 because, like I said, it was the 20% off and um, not wait for 75% off, really. Uh, which White tea and ginger, which is white tea leaves, sparkling yuzu, fresh bergamot, geranium petals, hint of ginger, as well as the shower gel. And then soaps. I got two of the fresh rainfall and sun-drenched linens. That just sounds really nice and lovely. Cool, clean, cool linen, bergamot, and soft musk. So two of those. And a watermelon, lemonade, and eucalyptus mint. And then wallflowers. I got... A fresh bamboo, flower cart, white t-shirt, laundry room lemon, a marshmallow fireside, and black cherry merlot. And then I did three moonlight paths and three sweet peas. And just one of the travel sprays for gingham in the perfume, even though I have the bottle perfumes, um, but a little travel spray. Um, I don't have the prices because it's all emailed, so they were pretty cheap with the 20% off. It pretty much brought everything almost 75% off. Um, so yeah, so like I said, kind of disappointed, didn't find a bunch of three wicks, but then again, I'm like... I pretty much got a lot of the, you know, fall and Christmas scents that I wanted at the time. So I would have just been buying them to buy them, which, you know, I'm okay with because how can you beat like a six, seven dollar candle? Um, but I, yeah, really like didn't need more three wigs of those scents. Um, even though I would have loved to have found toasted vanilla and pistachio, toasted pistachio, vanilla, whatever the hell that is. Um, but yeah, none of my stores had those. Um, but yeah, maybe, you know, like, like last year, my, uh, during winter SES, my store was like, you know, putting out stuff like over the week. So maybe candles will show up, maybe like more of the tester single wicks will show up. Um, and then today on the 50% off tables, you know, which, which will eventually get marked down to 75% off. So I just have to keep checking. Um, there were some men's colognes and, and some of the um, body care. But um, really, I just need a couple of the matching items for the, what is it, the Salt Shack collection, they're calling it. Um, a couple of those matching items to get um, when they do go 75% off. And yeah, that's pretty much like all I'm thinking I really need. Um, but Thank you guys for watching and enjoying my video, hopefully. Um, I will see you guys soon because, you know, I definitely will have some more hauls from this SAS. It just probably won't be as big. My online order is on the way and I did place a couple orders before SAS started because Bath & Body Works got me with like, uh, I think it was the 350 soap sale. So I got a bunch of the other blended soaps that were online then and... I think I did like a buy one, get one candle order as well. So I think that is also here somewhere. So I will see you, you know, with some more videos, of course, as always, Bath and Body Works content. And I hope you enjoy the vlog. Please, uh, you know, it was very hard vlogging um, it's, and it's hard editing it. So I will hopefully see you guys soon and take care. Bye.